everybody this is a new benchmark that you asked me to do uh, testing out uh, the new steam game recording i'm going to show you of course the test itself this is the table uh, of the results i'm going to show you also that table in the end and we're going to analyze the result i'm going to show, share some uh, information all right so we're going to jump into the test and we're going to explain of course things that i've done so you know actually how i tested it so first of all it's uh, tested on dragon age the veilguard uh, on uh, 3070 Ti, 32 gigabytes of RAM, i7, uh, Full HD. Uh, this is a laptop on medium setting, graphic setting with DLSS on performance. I basically spent several minutes, like three minutes, a bit more, uh, going through a certain area, one kind of a more indoor area and the other one outside. I did many things, rotating the camera first, uh, running fast, stopping for a few seconds, looking around. Basically trying to replicate things that I do in the game. At the bottom button when you can see an off screen recorder is not active at the bottom. So it gives you a reference about the difference between the frame rates compared to using a recorder at all and compared to the different recorders we are comparing here. So again from left you can see OBS, in the middle you see Steam game recording and on the right Nvidia Shadow Play. Alright, so we have the minimum frame rates, average, max, 1% uh, low and 0.1% low. I just edited it anyway. Now, of course, I'm waiting for your uh, insights to tell me what you see here, how you analyze this information yourself, what it tells you. Let me know in the comment section below. Now, of course, one thing we can clearly see is that uh, when we compare the uh, seeing the at the bottom the off screen results the fps uh, is better compared to any of them it's not a huge difference but there is a difference all right you can see the average is like right now is like uh, 12 fps difference compared to that of the nvidia shadow play and also generally speaking it seems that nvidia is kind of first in terms of performance followed by steam game recording and then obs So yeah, I did many things, run into the different areas, all in the same compound, by the way. So it would be, you know, um, basically more reliable test. But I did many things, stood still, moved, rolled sometimes, rotated the camera fast. Try to kind of uh, get a better sampling of different things that I'm going to do in the game anyway. But we can clearly see that if you look at the minimum frame rates that and the average, you can see that it's actually stayed uh, in a good range here. So I know that if I play, regardless if I use OBS, Steam or NVIDIA for recording, I'm going to get uh, you know, at least 60 FPS, uh, which is great. All right, so this is the, uh, this test. We're going to move to a second test where we're going to stress things out more. The, like um, I try to replicate something that you need the extra frame rate and maybe a recorder can actually interfere with that. So basically we're going to use uh, ultra graphic setting without DLSS. All right, and we're going to see uh, how it performs. All right, I'm going to show of course here the final result here on the screen. I'm going to show also the same table afterwards. After everything, I'm going to show you another more in-depth results. Alright, so these are the results. You can pause it here if you like. And let's move on to the next. Uh, this is uh, the table. I'm going to add, by the way, the off-screen after that. And you can see that the difference between uh, VBR and CQB. I showed you the VBR, but it's not a big difference, so I didn't include the video here. Alright, changing to ultra settings all right and dlss off all right so i'm stressing things here all right and you can actually see it right now that there's a big impact of course at the bottom still you can see the task that i did uh, off screen so no recorder there we are already dipping into the 30 fps here Minimum FPS here with the OBS 30 FPS, averaging in the 30s. Although Steam, by the way, look at that, uh, showing much better results here. And of course, Nvidia Shield as well. So there's a kind of big difference relatively compared to uh, OBS, which seems to underperform here. And uh, I don't know how this uh, uh, Steam got the, the high uh, frame rate max. But I'll probably uh, ignore it, I would say. Because you can see the average here will tell a better um, 
an understanding of the results. So we can see that is uh, pretty good here. Very surprising. I was expecting actually Nvidia to perform uh, quite significantly better, but yeah. We can see that OBS here is struggling. And uh, yeah, this is uh, something that I was worried about. If I use OBS, I'm going to see some, you know, f low frame rates and stuff. And yeah, and it's quite significant. As you can see, OBS dips into the 18 FPS. NVIDIA kind of more consistent result above the 30. And uh, Steam also overall doing well in terms of average. Right, we can see the dips of the OBS was pretty significant. Now if you look at the off screen, you can see that the minimum here is uh, similar to NVIDIA. And the average is 52 FPS, which is also again similar. Yeah, so if you look at these stats, I think uh, Steam and game recording is very close to NVIDIA. You can even call it kind of more or less the same. Whether OBS uh, is definitely behind here with the overall results. Yeah, so what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, disappointing, I'm using OBS a lot and seeing that... Make me think, alright, maybe it's time to make a change because yeah, when using OBS, I can definitely feel that, you know, issues. But I haven't spent too much time uh, changing. I thought about, I'm just going to change the graphic settings. But once you see that, you're going to think twice. Unless you, there's a reason for you to really use OBS if you're streaming or for any other reason. I also removed, by the way, all the filters, plugins and everything from OBS. So it won't have any significant impact. And I try both uh, VBR and CQB just to test it out. And again, quite similar results. All right, that's concluded. So these are the results summarized. Uh, kind of highlighted the results in colors. So green is kind of better, yellow is kind of mid, and the uh, lowest is in red. So overall, when I did it with uh, less stress on the system, you can see that NVIDIA Shadow Play was uh, above uh, Steam game recording, but not by much. And OBS was behind. It wasn't a huge difference here. Uh, but if you look now with the no DLS at the Ultra, where I stress the system more, we can see that Steam game recording was actually uh, uh, better here, but just a bit than with the Shadow Play. I would call it probably a, a more like a tie. Uh, but OBS definitely struggled here with, uh, well, around. 10 frame rates less compared to uh, the other. So yeah, that's quite significant. So when I actually stressed the, stressed the uh, system more, uh, OBS was actually struggling more. Yeah, basically that's it. I'm not an expert, just sharing my findings. Let me know in your in the comment section below what you think about these results. If you want me to test anything else, let me know as well. And I do my best to do it as well. Consider also subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching everybody.